let's do this. Since ancient times, humans have bathed in cold water for health benefits. Even after ancient culture developed water heating systems, they continued to bathe in cold water. For example, the ancient Greeks, the ancient Romans, and the ancient Russians all used dips in cold water for health and spiritual reasons. Japanese practitioners of Shinto in both ancient and modern times would stand under ice-cold waterfalls in a ritual called misogi. Some Native American tribes would alternate between sitting in a sweat lodge and then jumping into an icy river or snow banks. Those most famous cold water aficionados are those folks from Scandinavia. Beginning in the first century, Finns would sweat it out in saunas and then jump into ice holes in a lake. So what's going on here? Why have so many cultures from across time taken to bathing in cold water? Well, modern research is revealing that our ancient forebears may have inadvertently stumbled upon a practice that provides a myriad of health benefits, and today we're going to show you why you need to start taking cold showers to get those benefits as well. Cold showers can improve circulation. Good blood circulation is vital for overall cardiovascular health. Healthy blood circulation also speeds up recovery time from strenuous exercise and work. Alternating between hot and cold water while you shower is an easy way to improve your circulation. Cold showers may help relieve depression. Research the Department of Radiation Oncology at Virginia Commonwealth University School of Medicine that was a mouthful, indicates that short cold showers may stimulate the brain's blue spot. This is the brain's primary source of a hormone called noradrenaline. It's a chemical that could help mitigate depression, so if you're feeling down in the dumps, hop in a cold shower. Cold shower can help burn fat. When your body is exposed to cold, it requires more heat to warm you up. To do so, it has to process more energy, and in doing so, you burn more fat, more efficiently. Cold water exposure can also activate what's called brown fat, which is sort of a good fat that helps you generate heat and increase your metabolism, and it burns up yellow or white bad fat. On adults, brown fat is located on the upper back and neck and on your chest above your clavicles, so when you're in the shower with the cold water, aim so the water hits those parts of your body. Cold showers can help improve your sleep. So if you've been having trouble falling to sleep lately, you might try taking a cold shower one hour before bed. For optimal sleep, our bodies need to be cool, and some research suggests that cold water exposure can trigger our body's sleep signalers and aid in getting to sleep faster and experiencing a deeper sleep at night. Cold showers can help to keep skin and hair healthy. Hot water dries out skin and hair. If you want to avoid an irritating itch and ashy elbows, turn down the temperature of your showers. Also, cold water can make your manly mane look shinier and your skin look healthier by closing up your cuticles and pores. Cold showers can help increase fertility. Are you thinking about becoming a dad? Well, cold showers may be good for your little swimmers. You see, your testes aren't meant to get too hot. That's why they hang outside your body. Sperm counts decrease when the temperature of a man's testes increases. We know this because experiments done in the 1950s showed that hot baths were an effective contraceptive. Men who took a 30 minute hot bath every other day for three weeks were infertile for the next six months. More recently, the University of California at San Francisco did a study with men who were exposed to 30 minutes of wet heat, which is like a hot shower or um, a steam bath, 30 minutes uh, a week, and when the men cut this exposure out, their sperm count went up, get this, by 491%. And their sperm motility, which is how well they move, improved as well. So while switching from a hot to cold shower may not have a, a dramatic effect on your fertility, if you're trying to create some progeny, it surely won't hurt to turn the temperature down. Cold showers may help improve emotional resilience. If you want to stay cool, calm, and collected in the face of adversity, cold showers may help. In the book, In the Hour Between Wolf and Dog, writer John Coates reports that some biologists theorize that the nervous system that supports thermoregulation in mammals, it's what we use to control body temperature, if it's cold, we warm ourselves up, if it's hot, we cool ourselves down, that system laid the foundation for later systems of emotional arousal. Scientists have found that rats who swim regularly in cold water develop the capacity to mount a quick and powerful arousal relying on adrenaline more than cortisol, which is that stress hormone, and they can switch off that arousal just as quickly. 
When subsequently exposed to stressors, these rats stayed resilient and are not as prone to learn helplessness. Some tentative research has suggested that much of the same thing occurs in humans. Cold showers may help improve immunity. According to a study done in 1993 by the Thrombosis Research Institute in England, individuals who took daily cold showers saw an increase in the number of virus-fighting white blood cells compared to individuals who took hot showers. Researchers believe that the increased metabolic rate, which results from the body's attempt to warm itself up, activates the immune system and releases more white blood cells in response. Cold showers can help decrease inflammation and aids in recovery. After a hard workout, take a cold shower for quicker recovery. Ice baths have long been used by elite athletes to help decrease inflammation after a workout or a big football game. Cold exposure constricts the veins throughout your body and helps remove toxins like lactic acid from your muscles. When you get out of the cold shower or cold exposure, blood flow increases as your veins open up and your system is flushed with fresh, nutrient-rich blood that can help bring stuff to help repair your muscles. Cold showers may help increase testosterone. Wanting to put some more hair on your chest? Of course you do, you're watching The Art of Manliness. A cold shower may help. A study done by the Thrombosis Research Institute showed that cold water showers increase testosterone production in men. Increased testosterone levels not only boost a man's libido, which helps out with that fertility thing, but also increases a man's overall strength and energy level. Finally, cold showers provide a quick but long-lasting energy boost. The shock of the cold water is like knocking back an energy shot. Every time I take a cold shower, I feel invigorated, energized, and that feeling doesn't just last right out of the shower, I, it lasts what I find, in my experience, the entire day. So if you're looking for a little more energy, a little more pep in your step, try taking a cold shower. Well, there you go, the benefits of taking a cold shower. I hope you found this video useful. Until next time, I'm Brett McKay, telling you to keep those showers cold and stay manly.